The guest of honor and crown princess, Miti Maret, inaugurated the Norwegian program at the Cairo International Book Fair, accompanied by the Norwegian foreign minister and the ambassador of Norway to Egypt. And from the Egyptian side, Her Excellency Minister of Culture, Dr. Nevinik Kileni, and Dr. Ahmed Bahid Din, the head of the Egyptian General Authority for Books, and some representatives from the Egyptian government. Uh, I'm from Norway and it's an honor to be here in Cairo because uh, Norway is now a guest of honor at the book, uh, at the book fair. Uh, it's my first time in Cairo, the first time in Egypt, so I'm really enjoying myself. It's a lot of beautiful people here. For me, it's really mostly for learning more about Egypt, about Egyptian readers, uh, the Egyptian publishing uh, business. Uh, so I will tonight meet um, a, a big group of Egyptian publishers. We are going to have an event so we'll we get to know each, each other better uh, because um, we see that in these times we are living in, with all these dark things happening in the world, we really need to connect through literature. Literature is really important in these days with war and everything. So yeah, so for me, it's, uh, I'm here to learn to meet people. Selecting Norway as the guest of honor for the year 2024 edition of the Cairo International Book Fair presents a significant and inspiring opportunity for the fair's audience to familiarize themselves with one of the most important cultures in Northern Europe. Norwegian literature abroad, Norla, prepared the two parts of the 13 days program with the second part focusing on literature for children and young adults. And I really think children's literature is even more important now because children are tomorrow's adults. And to become uh, a human being, you, I think you can navigate as a human being through literature. And that is why literature, translated literature, is really important. We need to read stories from other parts of the world that we are living in. So, uh, and children, that is, uh, my heart is with the children's literature. So, yeah, I think it's important, really important. Very few. That's why we are here. The Norwegians are here to learn more about Egypt and Egyptian, Egyptian uh, literature. Uh, so we, we need your stories to know you better as people and we want to be your friends. So, yeah, so uh, I'm here. Hopefully I will read more Egyptian read, uh, authors when I, uh, during my days and when I come home. Because we are also looking for Egyptian authors to translate into Norwegian. The diversity of Norway cultural program in this year's edition of the Cairo International Book Fair praises its varied events and the multitude of fields and issues it covers. The importance of Norway's participation is in building bridges of human communication between Egyptian and Norwegian cultures. Uh, it's really huge and I really like it and try to like learn uh, the Egyptian variant of psychology, how, what's your perspective, and I also try like to learn some Arabic, so I, I bought like this, so we're going to try to learn the letters and then uh, try to count and uh, yeah, try to make the best out of this day. Yeah. Uh, it's a friend from Norway that uh, tips me about this event, so, and it's really cool, like the Norway's the guest of honor this year, and I uh, really like it, so I visited the Norwegian stand, and uh, I saw like my home authors, like, and also my, one of my friends, Nora Dawsnes, and uh, Edward Munch, of course. So it's really cool to see Norway and Norwegian literature being published here in Egypt. The Cairo International Book Fair is the largest and the oldest book fair in the Arab world. And this year, the 55th edition of the Cairo International Book Fair promises an enriching cultural experience. Shuru Bikir, Nile Cruz.